Hello, welcome back. Today we have a new worksheet and our worksheet is called Zoo Tally Chart, but I wanna to talk to you first about why we're doing this. We're using a system called Tally Marks. And the reason that we're doing that is it is a way to help us organize data or information that we're given. And information can be numbers, it can be objects, it can be people, it can be ideas. There's all kinds of things that we could have to organize. In this case, Today, we're gonna to be organizing information about our animals over here. But I wanna to talk to you about tally marks, so I want you to look over here at the whiteboard. I'm gonna write tally marks on the board, but I wanna really explain why we have tally marks and how it helps us to organize information. So let's say that you have, let's say you have 11 objects or 11 elephants or 11 whatever, you can imagine what it is, but we have 11 of something. Now there's a couple of ways of writing it out. You can write it out numerically, which means you can write it out like this. You could write out the number 11, okay? And another way to keep track of things is with tally marks, okay? And these are what tally marks are. Basically they are marks that tell us how many of each object there are. So for example, if I were to have 11 objects, I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Now, if I were just to glance at this and I didn't know it was 11, I would have to go through and count each one of these little marks to know it was 11. And that might be fine with 11, but what happens if it's 110, oh my goodness, then we've got a lot, don't we? And we'd have to go through and we'd have to count all of those. But tally marks are actually a better way of writing out a number instead of making all these little teeny tiny marks that we have to count each time we look at a number, they've made a special way to do it where by fives they organize the number. So for example, instead of writing 11 like this, you can write it like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So now our fives, just these two right here, are squished together. So we can automatically see that these are fives. So we can go five, 10, and then add one to it, which is 11, like this. So this is the way that we use tally marks. This is tally marks, not like this, but like this, where we have them divided into little groups of five and then we add more onto it if we have bigger numbers. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at our directions and we're gonna use the tally marks to help us figure out the answer. So it says count and tally the animals, check the correct total. So down here it says giraffes and it wants to know how many giraffes there are and we've got several choices for tally marks here. So we need to first, we need to count how many giraffes there are so I want you to count with me. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And actually that just happens to be the number that I did for the example. So 11 looks like this. It's got five, 10, and then one more. So let's see if we can find it. We've got five, 10, 11. This is it, but let's see our other options. We've got five plus one is six, or five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our answer is 11. So we're gonna put a check right here next to these tally marks. The next one is elephants. Let's count the elephants. How many elephants are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six elephants. So six would be a group of five plus one. So we've got, here's five. Well, that's not the right answer. Here's five, six, seven, eight. That's not the right answer. Here's five plus one is six. So here's our right answer. That is our correct tally marks. And then down at the bottom, it's asking for monkeys. How many monkeys are there? Well, let's count the monkeys. Here we go, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, skip over here, six, seven, eight. We have eight monkeys, which means we have one group of five plus five, six, seven, eight. So we have three, okay? So let's come down here. We've got five, six, seven, eight. There it is. That's the answer, but let's check and see if there's a better answer. We've got five, ten, or we've got five, six. Nope, it's going to be eight. So I'm going to put the check right down here. Eight monkeys. 
Great job today with your tally marks. I know that's kind of a new and different way of organizing information, but it really helps. Visually, when we see those fives, we know right away that that's a group of five, and that's a great way to organize your numbers. Great job today. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.